In this video, I will show you how to create a sales invoice in Business Central or how to make a sales invoice from a sales order where we already have posted shipments. So it's two different ways of making a sales invoice. So let's start with the simple one. From my main menu, I will go to my sales invoice. In this case, I might have a customer who would like to buy some extra spokes. So I'll create a new sales invoice for my customer. This is the Bike Master Copenhagen. And I can enter either item, uh, GL account, resource, etc., like when I created the sales order. In this case, I would like to buy, also sell a spoke and maybe 30 pieces for this customer. And it doesn't have a sales price automatically because it's not set up on the item card. But I can see here on my fact box that the standard cost is two Danish crowns. I might say to the customer, he has to buy three depending on my sales. And when I scroll right, I can see there's no columns for quantity to ship and quantity to invoice because when it's a sales invoice, those will always follow each other. So now I can print it to my screen or just post it and send it. So I will go to post. Normally I would say post and send and then send the invoice automatically. In this case, I would just post it. And when I post the invoice, it turns to be a posted invoice and I can open it and see the how it looks. And I can send it from here. If I didn't send it before, I can print it in here and then save it as PDF and send it to the customer. So this is one scenario. So now I post it, create it, and post it in invoice. The other scenario is a sales order, and I know that I have a sales order already for this customer. I have shipped some quantities of a bike and also some training and transportation. And if I scroll right on my sales order here, I can see that already shipped 18 and 2 and 1, and I still missed to ship the 7. So if I post this directly now, it will suggest to ship the remaining quantity and invoice the, uh, the shipped quantity already. What I want to do now is actually to post the quantity I have shipped. It's not allowed to, to post, not possible to post more than I have shipped. And then I can proceed. Sorry. Post and select post. And in this case, I will only post the invoicing because I already post the shipment. Like this. And now my quantity invoice is, or my, my quantity invoice display what I've posted now. So there's an invoice that I can go and find in my posted sales invoice and send it. I could also have selected posted and post and send. So if I go to my posted sales invoice, Here, and I might select filter on this customer. So I can see my two invoices here that I just created and posted. And the last one on my 18 and 2 and 1. So on this specific sales order, I only see the actual uh, invoice quantity.